What up, players? It's Bazza. Um, yeah, back with just a little update for my sons and Neptune. Uh, I'm going to show you two things now. Now, this is my old, well, not old, it's my newish um, tank that you've all seen. I'm really happy with it and all that governs. So what I'm going to do with it, I'm thinking about putting the like a blood drop, a water drop now, just on top of the door. Obviously bashing it all up and stuff like that for that one. But I knew I had a tank somewhere in my bits box. Well, it must be a bloody big bits box if there's a tank in it. But in my cupboard somewhere. And it's seen better days. But I'm going to spruce it up with um, a nice new paint job. Now, the stuff on it that I, it's bashed to bits and stuff like that. So most of the uh, damage work is actually done for me. Um, I just need to like emphasise it with the paint job. But I'm going to put like bullet holes going up the side and all that type of stuff. But I'll just take this bit off because this hasn't actually glued in. There was one major flaw with it that made me think, ah, what I'm I'm going to you know get rid of it and like make it better the hatch that was on here um was facing the wrong way it's obviously supposed to go straight down for some reason mine was diagonal so yeah i think that was naivety on my part you know um i didn't know how to make them back in the day <laughs> i just tried to chuck things together and hoped it worked so i've literally had to obviously pry it back off uh, and Having done that, it's left this part still stuck in here. So I had the other parts, like the man that goes in it and all that type of stuff. But obviously it won't fit in unless I trimmed all this down and I basically just couldn't be asked. So what I've done is got the man himself. Ooh, get in camera focus, that would help. Uh, got the man that would go in it just as like a... A support for this side. Now this is a bottom of a Skatari base, you know the big oval base. Um, just because I don't like them bases so I've chopped it up. Um, and stuck that just on the top of there. Because this part is hollow so it delves in. And obviously I didn't want that. So that's just going to be a little stop gap which I can just pop in there. Uh, and like glue it down and once I've done it glued it down and bash it all up and it'll just blend in with a tank hopefully um I'm not too sure if i put some more barrels on the back of here i want to but it's just trying to find like a bits website or you know going on ebay and trying to get them which won't be too hard it's just again if i can be asked um so that's that also, we've got an update on the uh, sanguinary guard that I've been doing. Now, as you can see, the four are in the background there. I'm going to paint them one by one because I'm going to take time on these because I love painting them. I absolutely love painting them. Um, they're so easy. I didn't realise they would be this easy. So there you go, guys. Um, Rackarth Flesh. I'll describe how I did it. Um, spray painted black, like you can see there. Side note, I have run out of spray, so I'm going to have to go and get some. Um, and then Rackarth Flesh all over the armour. Wash with Vagrax Earthshade. Um, then reapplied the Rackarth Flesh, leaving the, you know, the recesses. This is all bog standard stuff here, but it's such a, a, a nice effect, and it's what I've done on my other Marines. Obviously, just swap the colours out. Um... For me, it works really well. Um, and then for the wings and the blood drop, it's Sotek Green, then Wash, no, Sotek Green, and then, well, for the larger one, dry brushed with um, Temple Guard Blue, and then washed with um, Dragon Off Nightshade, and that's for that. But with the smaller ones, it's Sotek Green, um, washed with Dragon Off Nightshade, and then painted temple guard blue so it's more distinctive and then obviously you've got the temple guard blue blood drops well water drops now sorry but what i want to do is get some varnish on the little ones 
soft well and the bigger ones really just to make it nice and shiny um yeah so that's that's that guys i'm really happy it's got all the colors that are in my tactical marines they're just in a different order and i think it goes really really well um yeah just let me know what you guys think um of it just put it in the comments down below i'll be really you know i'm really interested to know what you guys think about this and if obviously you want any tips and stuff like that on how to paint yours just drop me a drop me a bell i will uh happily tell you what to do <laughs> so yeah there's that and there's his uh little vent there it's pretty cool Right guys, that's it. I'll see you all in the next one. Please like and subscribe. Have a good day. And I'll see you again. Baza signing out. Peace.